god, I just realized I have a lot of, lot of Game of Thrones t-shirts. Hey guys, this is the Dasha and I'm back again with another video for you all. And today, I want to do another book review. Although, um, I don't know. Uh, so, I had a pretty weird mixed review about this particular book. You guys must have guessed from the title which book I'm talking about. So, without much further ado, let's get on with the video. So, the book that I'm talking about is American Dirt by Janine Cummins. So, I saw a lot of rage going on about this book. Um, people have been going crazy about it, they have been loving this book and Oprah Winfrey's book club um, pick of the month it was and there was so many things about this book that people have been talking a lot about. So I thought, you know what, it's going to be pretty interesting especially when it comes to Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey picking up this book. So I requested for it and I don't know whether should I say I am... I'm not really disappointed. I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm like pretty neutral when it comes to this. I don't know. So the book is basically about this woman named Lydia, who with her little boy faces a huge, dramatic, tragic, horrible tragedy in front of her. Her whole family, including her husband, is shot dead by a gangster. Whereas Lydia and her little boy hides in the bathroom. And they find out that every single person in their life who's been there their relative they're all dead they call up the police the police department comes whoever tried to murder their whole family they are not safe and so they run away with however how much ever money they had and they just like go away they leave everything in mexico and they just like run away from there literally like avoiding every single tracker like going through various methods they realize that they are being followed by a by a massive cartel and how they end up going through various obstacles, falling into grave danger, meeting two beautiful girls who end up helping each other, they become a small knit family, and how they end up trying to cross the border, although they know that there is no possible outcome. You get to know that Lydia and the main gangster, the boss, the cartel boss, who is actually behind the entire murder and the craziness that's been happening, it was actually a friend of hers whom she didn't know in the beginning. She had a bookshop where they used to meet on a regular basis because they had a very common line that was the book, a common thread, and they used to talk about it. When she finally realizes what exactly is happening, she tries to cut it out. But because her husband was a crime journalist, things got pretty bad. He ends up revealing pretty boldly the main characters and the main person who was actually the cartoon boss out in pop. There are major subplots, all the characters, the storyline that goes around. If you read this book as it is, it's not that bad. You understand the situation of immigrants, you understand what all obstacles they used to face or they still do face or what exactly is the scenario in Mexico or what exactly is the scenario when it comes to dealing with cartels or what exactly happens when you are into such situation which actually still now happens. You learn a lot about various cultures, you learn a lot about migration uh, problems, you learn a lot about a lot of things. There is a lot of brutality that happens, there's a lot of misgivings that happen. What I didn't like about the book was, although it's a it's oh, it's it's a good read. It's 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 a different read. It's a good read. There's a lot of repetition. I would consider this book as a movie, and I would say there's a lot of dragging in particular scenes where you don't want it to. You can just skip through it, or you could have made things pretty crispier in a way. There's a lot of areas where you don't need those added information which could have been curtailed down i wouldn't say there's a lot of racism but i would say there's a lot of um, there are points where you know that they are pointing out to one particular set of people and you don't want that to happen because you know that that is something wrong that's happened there are certain flaws when it comes to um, building up a story the, the author i think goes a little bit haywire maybe i don't know whether it's a personal thing or what um, when you start reading the book, there is a flow. By the time you reach a couple of chapters, I think by 8 or 10 chapters, I really loved the book. I really liked the way it was going in. By the, between, In between 10 to 15, I, was, I wanted to skip through it, but I couldn't because there were a couple of information that was relevant. But the entire thing was pretty dragged out. Then um, 
again after that i didn't want it to read because there were so many instances that was happening again and again in terms of the obstacles that have been happening the issue it becomes pretty very predictable eventually when you um see the entire book you don't like it you don't get a good feeling about it i mean i've read books like such or like book that gives you a, a, a dark twisty book but at the end you might get a good feeling if you like the book like it happened with Tattooist of Auschwitz but once I read this book I didn't get the good vibe I don't know why exactly that happened the writing style is it's nice and quick but there was a lot of things that could have happened I think the author tried to do a lot extra that should have happened in terms of the writing part as well but that did maybe she tried to um, incorporate that journalistic approach i don't know uh, maybe she tried to write more heavily but that didn't happen i didn't appreciate it although what i liked was luca's character because there was so many i'm mean, like little boy's character there was so many things that you try to understand like he tries to say it out loud and you want to be there with him you want to just like give him that warm that comfort but it, it, it it's not possible there's certain places where you feel so tensed up you want to just like cry your eyes out but you know so it's 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 i would say it's a very mixed thing that i have for this book i would I would like to reread this book, which is a very weird thing for me to say. I am not a kind of person who likes to reread a book again and again, but I think I would reread this book just to um, go back to it and understand the entire, and just to get the flavor again. Maybe I will like the book again if I read it again. It's not that I dislike the book. It's not like that I am going to give a bad comment to it. It is a very neutral book. There's a lot of things that you can learn about. There's a lot of things that you understand or you like think there are a lot of things that are happening out there in the world. It just gives you a step closer to it. And that's what I think is important. I really liked the concept, to be honest, because this is a book, this is a kind of a area that I never dealt with or I never read about. So I think... It is, it is definitely a must-read book. I'm not going to deny it. But I think you would have to have a very open mind. Do not go into reading other people's review or like thinking left or right. Just like clear your mind and start reading it. That's going to help you out in that. So I think when it comes to giving it a star, I'm going to give it a 3.5. And I think I'm going to read it. If anybody is interested in buddy reading this with me, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to buddy read Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like and enjoy it. It was a very interesting review for me. So much to think about, so much to say about. At times you don't know how to compile everything and just like blur it out. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still subscribe. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. I'll be back again with another video soon. Till then, bye-bye.